10 CD. Tectonic Plates. In this activity, students model tectonic plate movement to discover what happens at plate boundaries and map the Earth's eight major tectonic plates. Materials. One full graham cracker sheet. One paper towel. One heaping tablespoon marshmallow fluff. One knife. One set of eight map pencils. Resource showing plate boundaries from a textbook or online. Modeling plate movement. To prepare the demonstration pieces, use the knife to score each cracker sheet into one large piece and two smaller pieces. Break the cracker sheet along the score lines and place the pieces on a paper towel. Start by placing a tablespoon of marshmallow fluff on the large piece of graham cracker. Add the two smaller crackers side by side on top of the fluff. This model shows the orientation and position of the lithospheric plates on top of the asthenosphere. Label the cross-sectional diagram in the student journal. Now you are ready to model a convergent boundary. Move the two small crackers together to form an upside-down V. Discuss events that can occur in the continental crust when plates collide at tectonic plate boundaries. Draw a cross-sectional diagram of the model under Figure 1 in the student journal and answer the corresponding questions. Next, model a divergent boundary by pushing the two small crackers apart so they are slightly separated. Ask if the crust is created or destroyed at this boundary when two plates move away from each other. Again, draw a diagram of the model and answer the questions in the journal. Now move the two small crackers toward each other, pushing one slightly under the other to model another type of convergent boundary, where a denser plate containing oceanic crust collides with lighter continental crust at the tectonic plate boundary. Draw this model under figure three in the journal and answer the questions. Finally, model a transform boundary. Move the two small crackers so they are side by side. Then slide one cracker in one direction and the other in the opposite direction. Complete figure four and answer the questions. Mapping tectonic plates. Students will need eight different colors of map pencils. And by the way, it's okay to eat the models now. Use a textbook map or other resource to identify the Earth's eight major lithospheric plates. Label each plate on the map. Then shade the plates with map pencils using a different color for each plate. Point out that plate boundaries do not follow continental boundaries. Ask students what happens at the boundaries of tectonic plates. What events may occur? What determines the types of landforms created?